Hey guys, so today we are gonna take another perilous journey into my drawer of shame. If you didn't know, it's filled with things that while I was at the shop, I thought, I really need this, this is the most important thing in the world. But then I got home and just plonked it in a drawer and never looked at it again. So today we are gonna review whether they were worth buying or not. I personally think everything in life is improved with an emotional scale, so if they were definitely worth buying, we will use this. If they were kind of a bit meh, we will have this face. <laughs> I can't do a serious face without laughing, wait. There we go, that's the screenshot. And if they were definitely not worth buying, I think we can have this face. No. All right, first thing on the list. Ow, black water. I'm glad the lid was on right. Or bluck, because everything is made cooler if you just remove some letters from the name. I should rename myself. Ful. Or hi. Oh, that would be high. <laughs> Hi. A combination of naturally black fulvic trace minerals. I love a good fulvic mineral. So there's no flavor added, so I'm thinking it's just gonna taste like water. No fizz. Smells like nothing. Ooh. It looks like Coke. I'm just putting it out there. That is a sludgy dark brown, so I want my money back. If I saw that coming out of a natural spring, I don't think my first intention would be to put my mouth to it. It looks like it came out of a burst sewage pipe. Here we go. It tastes like water. <laughs> what was I expecting? I don't know what I was expecting. Do you know when you have a nice bottled water in a hotel and it tastes like really, really diluted milk? No? Well, <laughs> that's how I describe it. It's like really nice hotel water. So I'm gonna give this one a meh. I'm glad I tried it, but I don't think I will be getting any more. Next thing I was super excited about, but Dan thought it was the stupidest thing ever. It is a lemon humidifier, which sits next to your computer and releases a lemon scent. It looks like this. I think it's quite cute. Ah, the classic blue lemon. All right, I filled it with water, not black water, just regular water. And now I'm plugging him in. Lemon me up, baby. It's not working. Come on. I need my lemons. Oh, there's a... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just staring at this massive on button on the front of it. Here we go. Ah! Ooh! This is so much steamier than I thought it would be. Are you getting that? It's like being in your own personal steam room. Oh, I'm probably breaking the camera. All right, where's the lemon smell? Come on, bring it to me. Wait. It doesn't smell like lemons. It just looks like a lemon. Oh, I feel like such a lemon. This is false advertising. If you call it a lemon humidifier, I'm gonna expect some freaking lemons. This gets a ah. Uh, the face of betrayal. What is a face of betrayal? No. Get out of my sight, you lemonless fail. Okay, next thing, you know I'm obsessed with cereal. Well, what if I could have cereal on my body at all times? I got some cereal flavored lip balm. Who doesn't want the flavor of cereal on their lips all day? So we have Cocoa Pops Frosted Flakes. Oh, this must be American because we call them Frosties, which sounds a lot more British. Rice Krispies Fruit Loops, which we don't have in the UK and is also a travesty. And Corn Flakes. I'm not sure I'd want Corn Flakes on my lips, but <laughs> let's test it out. <laughs> I reckon the best way to test these would be a blind taste test, which is not only informative, but fun for YouTube. I'm gonna close my eyes, give them a swish, and then rub one on my lips. Okay, number one. Got a good covering. Oh, oh, I'm getting, I'm getting chocolatiness, so that must be Cocoa Pops. Yes, that's a good one if you're craving chocolate and you don't have any, just put this in your bag, and then you can have a little chocolatey lip treat. That sent my mind to a weird place. Numero two. I just put it right in my teeth. It's like a bit plasticky, like if I've licked a TV remote or something. Maybe, is it cornflakes? Rice Krispies? I'm gonna have the moistest lips in London at this rate. I'm getting some sweetness from it. Is this one frosty flakes? Yes! Yes! Did you ever get scared of Tony the Tiger as a kid or was it just me? He's kind of terrifying. Fruit Loops! Yes! That one is nice. It tastes like fruit more than cereal. The next one, I don't need to close my eyes, is Corn Flakes. I feel like my lips are just covered in fruit, so I'm just gonna eat it. I cannot taste any corn or any flake. It just tastes like air mixed with black water. So overall, not bad. Because of the Cocoa Pops, I'm gonna say yes. I am happy with that one. Ding! I already know in advance I'm gonna regret this one. I got some Satan Spawn gummy bears, which are angelic little gummy bears with a twisted dark side. They contain habanero chilies. Habanero chilies are very hot and rated 100,000 to 350,000 on the Scoville scale. What is the Scoville scale? It's in the red, which is the same category as US grade pepper spray. I mean, Tabasco sauce and jalapenos make my eyes water and they're in the yellow and green. Why didn't I buy the bell pepper gummy bears? Okay, I can do this for you guys and science. How many should I have? I'm gonna eat two, because I usually eat gummy bears two at a time because they need a friend when they're dying. They even smell hot. My nose is watering. <laughs> I'm actually scared. Right, here, here we go, here we go. Oh, oh God. 
Wow, it's definitely hotter than any curry I've ever eaten. I'm glad I only ate two. Imagine if I took a massive mouthful of them. I mean, I think I could to prank someone, but for myself, I'm gonna give them a- no. <clears throat> Last thing is this K-pop idol silver hair paste, which I saw in a Facebook advert and the guy looked so cool after he used it. I just thought I had to try it. It's got some badly translated Japanese instructions. This product is a one-time hair. <laughs> Water so lubel, lines exceptionally dynamic, strong lasting shape modeling for hair shine and bring significant unique personality. Well sign me the F up, that sounds like my dream life. Ooh, this looks awesome. It's like Terminator 2 melted into a pot. It kind of smells like a swimming bath mixed with a bit of mint. Mmm. Oh, this texture is making me happy. It said work it from the hair root. So is that my hair root? Oh, it feels a lot less nice in my hair. If I don't look like a K-pop idol after doing this, I want my money back. <laughs> it looks like a bird has pooed on my head. Seems to be getting there. Oh, my hair feels so gross now. This is not a dynamic texture at all. And here's the big reveal. Ba 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 ba. <laughs> what do you think, guys? I can't tell if this looks cool or completely horrific. It feels horrific. It feels like a plastic, sticky wig. I do not look like the K-pop idol I dreamed of. I'm getting silver everywhere. My hands look like I did something really inappropriate to the Tin Man. I wonder if this is what my hair will look like when I'm 70. So based on how this feels alone, I'm gonna give it a giant regret. No. I don't think I could ever pull off silver hair because of how pale I am. It makes my whole face just blend into my head. So there we go. My drawer is a little bit emptier. My mouth is burning and I look completely ridiculous. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Hopefully yours are a lot less silver than mine. You can subscribe by clicking my bubble down here. My last video is over there. Give that a little watch and I hope you are having a fantastic day and your hair is a lot less gross than mine. Goodbye.